Mr. President, on the 19th of October, 2017, you inaugurated this nine-member commission of inquiry and assigned as a historic responsibility to inquire into demands you had received from the, for the creation of new regions. The occasion was significant because it marked the first time in the history of our country in the 1992 constitutional era that such a step had been taken. Prior to this, petitions have been submitted to your predecessor presidents, but none of them have proceeded to the point where a commission of inquiry had been appointed. Mr. President, we are back here today, eight months later, having traveled to some of the remotest parts and on some of the most unmotorable roads in this country. We observed deprivation ex and extreme poverty in many places. We heard the people express their frustrations and lament over their conditions. We also heard them express their aspirations and the hope that somehow they would benefit as citizens of Ghana from national resources in the manner guaranteed them under the 1992 Constitution. The message was the same from our people from all walks of life, from our traditional leaders, religious leaders, political leaders. They all share the same sentiments. Those who made their voices heard included medical doctors, lawyers, engineers, farmers, fishermen, sportsmen, teachers, students, and persons with disabilities to mention only a few. Mr. President, the Commission concluded that our work would only be effectively done by observing things at first hand and listening to people on the ground. As a result, six in-camera meetings were held with the petitioners, 41 public hearings, one interaction with the National House of Chiefs, four interactions with the regional houses of chiefs, 28 other consultations, and an interaction with the honorable members of parliament from Brongaf region, northern region, Volta region, and western regions were also held. We are convinced that we have received all shades of opinion from as wide a cross-section of the Ghanaian populace as is possibly under these condition circumstances. Mr. President, the culmination of all these steps taken by the Commission is the report that we are here to submit to you today. Our report is entitled, quote, Equitable Distribution of National Resources for the Balanced Development, unquote. I repeat, Equitable Distribution of National Resources for Balanced Development, unquote. This title encapsulates the aspirations of the people of the areas from which the petitions emanated. As a matter of fact, this must be the desire of every citizen of Ghana who chooses not to be a spectator. The Commission has expressed views on substantial demand and a need for creation of new regions as well as required, um, required uh, as we are required to do by the terms of reference. We have also expressed our views on the places and issues to be determined by the referendum. May I, at this juncture, have the pleasure to present to you the report that has been produced by the Commission Inquiry, which you set last year. I'm very delighted to welcome you back to Jubilee House, the seat of the presidency of our nation. We first gathered here on the 17th of October, 2017, after I had received several petitions from individual citizens and diverse groups seeking the creation of several new regions, a process which had obtained the support of the Council of State expressed to me in its 
epoch marking letter of 15th August 2017. In accordance with the teachings of the Constitution of the Republic, provided in Article 5, Clause 2, I proceeded to inaugurate, pursuant to Constitutional Instrument Number 105, CI 105, this Commission of Inquiry, with the following terms of reference. A. To inquire, pursuant to the positions, into the need and substantial demand for the creation of new regions and thereby the alteration of Western Region, Brongahafu Region, Northern Region, and Volta Region. B, to make recommendations to the President based on his findings on the creation of a region or alteration of regions. And C, to specify the issues to be determined by referendum and the places where the referendum should be held where it makes recommendations for the creation of new regions and alteration of regions. CI 105 required the Commission to complete its job within six months, i.e. by April the 30th, 2018. This period, at the request of the Commission, is a result of the extensive nature of its task, was extended by CI 107 to 30th June. 2018. I'm pleased you have now concluded this assignment, and on behalf of the Ghanaian people and their government, I express my deep appreciation to the nine-person commission, chaired by the distinguished jurist and respected former member of the Supreme Court, Mr. Justice S.A. Broby, for bringing to a conclusion this momentous, momentous undertaking. I'm grateful to him and also to all the other excellent men and women of various skills, expertise, and knowledge who form part of this commission and its secretariat. I followed with keen interest the proceedings of the commission and noted with satisfaction the wide nature of the consultations undertaken. I was particularly pleasantly struck by the several occasions in the course of those proceedings when important personalities from different political persuasions saw common ground on the need to create new regions. It is clear that the process has been demand-driven and reflective of the will of the people as the Constitution so intends. It has been a truly national exercise. The report submitted by the con Commission indicates that there is indeed a need and substantial demand for the creation of new regions in the various areas that were the subject of its inquiry. The Commission has cre recommended the creation of the following new regions, Western North, Bono East, Ahafo, Savannah, Northeast, and Uti. The Commission has thus further recommended that the Electoral Commission hold referenda in these new proposed regions to determine whether the constitutional thresholds for the creation of new regions will be met by the vote of the people affected. It has also specified the issues that the referenda will resolve. Let me reiterate that at least 50% of the persons entitled to vote must vote in each of the different referenda and of the votes cast, at least 80% must be cast in favor of the creation of a region for the demand to succeed. The Constitution insists that the process and outcome must be guided by the popular will. It is my earnest wish that the holding of the referendum will be conducted in an orderly and peaceful manner. Generally, throughout our history, Administrative regions have been created to bring governance closer to the people and accelerate socioeconomic development. Hopefully, the creation of these new regions will serve the same purposes. We are chartering new paths in the development of Ghanaian democracy. This is the first time that in a constitutional era, 
regions are being created under constitutional provisions. The work of this commission will definitely be one of the landmarks in that journey. History will definitely applaud, I have no doubt, the manner in which this, his, this commission has discharged this historic duty. Let me acknowledge with gratitude the support of the Ghanaian people and their different components, the members of the Council of State, members of Parliament, regional ministers, municipal and district chief executives, traditional rulers, security personnel, public servants, opinion leaders, members of the media, professionals, workers and farmers, for the work of the Commission during its consultations and public hearings. It would be remiss of me to end the statement without paying due tribute to the Minister for Regional Reorganization and Development, the Honorable Dan Kweku Butri, Member of Parliament for Okre, for the exhaustive, painstaking, and sensitive work that he has done to bring this matter to its present state. General, as he's often referred to in MPP circles, <laughs> Aiko. You have proved yourself a public servant of the highest pedigree, and I thank Almighty God for the inspiration that led me to choose you to lead this vital national initiative. Now, the process will be in the hands of the Electoral Commission and the people. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. Thank you for your attention.